Zoni Center, have my director call. 231, thank you. Hold on. Hi, my name is Jimmy Callanan. I was a school district teacher in Philadelphia, special education. I retired in 2002. Since I've been retired, I've been doing volunteer work at two nonprofit agencies here in Center City. One of them is Action Aids. The other one is the Mazzoni Center, which you'll see later on. I have also uh, done some contract work with the uh, Philadelphia Department of Public Health, the AIDS Activities Coordinating Office. I've also become uh, an amateur genealogist, a local historian and writer, and I'm also active on my church uh, association. Also a person living with AIDS since 1983. And just by chance, one uh, Friday afternoon in, in August 1987, I had to be at uh, Mazzoni Center where they were doing testing to do something else. I was dropping off a check and uh, I said to the counselor at the desk, by chance do you have an open appointment because it was by appointment at the, in that center. And he said, yeah, the two o'clock appointment didn't show up. So I walked in and got tested. People who were diagnosed with AIDS at that point had six months to live. Well, I'm glad <laughs> you know, here I am all these years later. One of the statistics that comes out in AIDS literature is that 25% of the pop of People living with HIV AIDS do not know they're living with HIV AIDS. Proactive and being responsible for your own information is important too. When I wake up in the morning, uh, I really am happy that I'm waking up. Uh, when I have lunch, I'm happy there's lunch for me and that I can, you know, um, I take a lot of joy in life. I also feel it's okay to plan ahead, although I keep getting these two-year deadlines, six-month deadlines. Uh, when I got my six-month deadline, the first thing I did was went out and buy a house with a 30-year mortgage. So I sort of poo-poo that right away. So I'm okay with planning ahead reasonably. I mean, I, I realize the other shoe could drop at any point. I'm, I'm prepared for that, but I try not to think about that. I also find it's very uh, invigorating for me uh, to share my story like I'm doing now because then I relive it each time I tell it and it makes me stronger, I think. I also feel, because I'm comfortable doing this, that I have maybe some kind of a calling to do it, that this is why I'm here all these years later and other people aren't. Um, so I'm, I'm taking it and trying to make it a positive spin on it and reaching out and trying to touch other people.